King Killer Books, King Killer Chronicles, Patrick Rothfuss, amazing author. Um, my main gripe is the name of the protagonist. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say his name because it just sounds stupid. Um, I don't know why fantasy writers always got to come up with some exotic sounding name. I always got to try to be different, right? Just keep it simple. But uh, other than that, it's probably the best I ever read. Some really good stuff. Um, Wise Man's Fear, it's like so much action, just so engaging in the beginning. And then a few hundred pages later, you're just like, wait a minute, was that the climax? Because it kind of just drags. It's like he goes, our hero goes into training with the Lathani people who are kind of a really boring people. Um, you know, and then our hero gets his ass kicked by a 10-year-old Athani girl. <laughs> and it's like, what, does she have special powers or something? Nope. Just girl power, you know? <laughs> All the modern fantasies always got to have the girl power. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to piss off any feminists. We got to have all that, you know, whatever. All right? PC, SJW stuff, you know, but uh, what I got out of these books is, um, I like how they get deep in the, they get deep about music. I, he, he, the way he gets deep about music, it's like, it makes you think it, about it on another level. And, and fighting and martial arts in general, it's just, there's a connection with all of that. Music and martial arts, and you really gotta read it because it's really cool. Um, Slow Regard of Silent Things, this is Ari's POV, and Ari is a really special character, she's really cool. Um, she's like an innocent child, uh, you know, she, she's, it's like she doesn't, live in this reality, it's like she lives in the real reality, she sees, sees through the bullshit, you know, all the glamour, the, the matrix, and, um, and it's like, people see her as like, just a retard, but, you know, I guess, um, a lot of people, like, the matrix people, the NPCs, they probably won't care for this, this is more for, like, those of us that are outside the box, you know, but, uh, very great series, the, um, the third conclusion, the, of the trilogy is gonna supposed to come out last year, but Patrick Rothfuss is just such a perfectionist. He's just dragging it on. I don't know. It's, hopefully, it comes out soon. But uh, Lucifer, Father of Cain. My dad let me borrow this, and I'm not into religion, but I'm really interested in the apocrypha, you know, the banned books. And um, the author Zen Garcia. He studied all those books, and he he studied all the religions, and you know, so it's a compilation of his knowledge. And I like. I really enjoy books like that. It's very dense. Um, but, uh, you know, it's interesting, but it's just, why can't they just speak and write in plain English and speak in plain English? Because it's like, I am not into Bible speak. I don't like trying to solve riddles and rereading fucking paragraphs and sentences over again. It's kind of, it's just kind of a, it can get really irritating and annoying. But uh, I, have a, I have a Christian friend who, you know, He's like, it's not good to read the banned books, you know, because because they're banned for a reason, like to protect us. And I'm like, you stand for freedom, right? He stands for freedom of speech. He's against censorship, but it's okay to censor the Bible. It's like, where's the disconnect, man? I, I, I'm not feeling you here, you know? And I don't see what the big deal is because, you know, it's like most of the information in here is stuff I already knew. It's like, I know about the giants. I know the Smithsonian, Smithsonian hiding all the bones, the giants, and... I know about the bloodlines, um, I, I just read so much and it's all connected for me, so it's like I know all this kind of stuff, but it's still pretty good, I recommend it, I recommend Suicide of the West, by my namesake, <laughs> the Burnham, yeah, Uncle James, <laughs> yeah, when reading this book, it really did feel like connecting with my long lost uncle, you know, it's like I'm having a conversation with a, with a, um, with a long lost uncle and uh it's pretty cool man it's like uh, it's, even though it's written in 1964 it very much pertains to the uh what's going on today the political climate is, of what's going on with the liberals today it's like it's like right on it's like he predicted all this shit you know it's like and i like how he s explains it all it's like liberalism is the ideology of western suicide and all of this book is just an amplification of that sentence and, our, our society has created a monster, a liberal monster, and, uh, and it's an assassin, and we're freely exposing ourselves to its knife.
But it ends on an optimistic note that, you know, that maybe liberalism is failing, maybe it's fading. That's what he was saying in 1964. If only Uncle James was here today. <laughs> I'm a unique and special snowflake. Look at me. I'm so original with my multicolored hair. Yeah. <laughs> you're not a unique and special. No. You are a snowflake, though. Yeah. But you're created, you're created by the Marxists. You went through that Marxist programming in your schooling. You're created to be used by the communists to take down the West. You're pretty much just a tool, a useful idiot. You know? But we're fighting racism. We're putting an end to the patriarchy. You know? BLM. Yeah. Fuck Black Lives Matter. Fuck Antifa. You know? All you social justice warriors, a bunch of pussies. And this book, David Goggins, oh man, David Goggins is, is the man. And after reading this book, I was so motivated by his words and um, by his experience. Next day, I had the best workout in years. It's almost like I was on steroids or something. I was just like doing extra reps, breaking PRs, just getting jacked. And um, I very much recommend this book. I wish I had it earlier in my life. You know, I would have wasted so much time drinking beer and just fucking bullshitting, and, you know. But like, um, like Marcus Rothkrantz, one of my, my best uh, health and diet gurus, he always says, Never too late to be the best version of yourself, you know. So I always tell myself that every day. I always try to do your best every day. And here's my uh, my world of miniature chaos. My fantasy miniatures. It's my escape from the bullshit world we're living in. I very much enjoy this. I enjoy painting them. It's uh, cathartic in a meditative way. Um, I really like the owl bear, super cool. He's battling with the tortoise. So many cool miniatures. It's like they all have a backstory. And look at that. We got Cog Cogsworth and Lumiere, and we got the golden goddess under the pyramid over there. It's all symbolic. Even the dolphin over there in the corner. It's symbolisms everywhere. Yeah, I read my fantasy books, then I play out the scenes after every chapter my miniatures yeah man if not for uh, fantasy not for fantasy novels and fantasy miniatures I don't know man I'd probably go crazy probably beat the shit out of some freaking libtard SJWs and end up in jail <laughs> oh man I shouldn't say that on freaking YouTube oh well nobody's watching this shit anyways I'm all good right it's all good <laughs>